So I'm filling in for the team amateurs. I, I don't exactly know how this thing works. Like apparently we have an enormous number of people on our team. Uh, I don't know who some of these people are. I do know others. Um, but we have, I haven't looked at the teams all that much. I took a look at Yellow Cap, who is the team that we're gonna be playing against today, or at least the team that I'm gonna be playing against today. I think we're starting up in like two minutes. So this is the team. You know, there's one name on this list that I haven't seen in so long. Uh, Sarah Apslin Seibland. I knew her when she was Sarah Seibland. Um, she played with Cecilia Rimstedt in uh, junior events. Um, they actually won a junior event, the two of them playing together a while back that I had participated in um, many, many years ago, probably before everyone else was born. Uh, team in first, no idea who some of these people are. Pioneers, Frieden. Okay, this looks like a more normal team. There's, <laughs> there's five people on this team. I guess this is sponsored, um, the Frieden team. But yeah, we, we don't have a sponsor, at least I don't have a sponsor as far as I know. I was just asked to fill in for one set. Um, yeah, not really sure who some of these people are, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So who have we got? We got Frederick Jarlvik from Sweden. And... Jan Becklin from Sweden. This might actually be the guy that I talked with, I wonder. Um, but let's see, do we have a convention card? Uh, looks like Craig has just typed out our stuff. So let's take a quick look what the opponents play. They play two over one, two diamonds is weak. Uh, one, three, five. Okay, so they play odd card leads just like we do. Um, okay, I am pulling up a multi defense. So I will have that just in case the opponents bid multi, since I never remember any of this stuff. Uh, so what do they do? Uh, two over one, two diamonds is weak. Weak major, two of a major is intermediate. Okay, okay. So mostly normal stuff, at least for Europeans. And we're off. So this is imps, which means, you know, we're going to try and bid games if we can. Not on this hand. <clears throat> well, <laughs> partner not too thrilled with my miner's bid. I mean, he has a pretty normal looking hand, um, but <laughs> we... We are not too happy to be in this spot. We're not doubled, so I think that's good news, and that probably also means that um, I was gonna say maybe the King of Spades wasn't the best lead. I'm not gonna comment too much on um, what other people are doing. I'm just kind of gonna talk about my own thing in general. And as usual, it takes me like two to three boards to <laughs> get get focused now that I'm in the middle of streaming. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, we're not doubled. I mean, this could be a board that goes any which way. Um, <clears throat> like, very possible that we end up winning, like, 10 imps on this one because our the opponents in the other room also make the same 2-no trump bid on my hand, and our teammates work out to go after it. 
Um, we could lose a ton of imps because east or north south were east west, I guess. Uh, the opponents or our teammates in the other room end up getting too high and get doubled and go for a large number. Well, three rounds of hearts have been played. I mean, ooh. We did expect that the diamonds are splitting 4-2 based on North's kind of refusal to continue um, trumps. Okay, down three. I mean, not the end of the world to go down three. I, I guess partner probably could have exited a club just in case North's had some weird hand shape and was then played into leading spades, but... <clears throat> I wonder if this is scored barometer. I have no idea. Um, we will... Oh, I can't even see who's playing in the other room. That's okay. Well, we're one board in. Uh, for us, this is not really an opening hand. I probably could get away with... Um, <laughs> with opening, but... Craig uh, just <laughs> saying that he wanted to pass to no trump, that doesn't seem like the right decision. I think that's more likely to get our side doubled. Okay, uh, have to remember that Craig and I play real conventions over a no trump. Um, this hand looks to me just like a stamen bid. I could bid the three clubs puppet to conceal information. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bid stamen. I, yeah, I'm just gonna bid stamen. Maybe I should be bidding puppet. It's just been so long since I've played real conventions that I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be bidding puppet with this. Well, we found a spade fit. Would have done so either way. The, the only real issue with bidding stamen is if partner shows hearts, then the opponents know not to lead hearts. Ewan likes regular stamen. I I know that it's like kind of technically designed so that um, that you're not really supposed to bid puppet stamen if unless you're like four three in the majors. I'm I don't recall why that is though. It's just been a while since I've played that sort of thing. Well, partner's getting his uh, his workout in. It's worth noting he could easily have 13. He's white on red, third seat. I mean, I just figure, like, we're 5-4, we have some shape. Partner has 15, so it looks like we did okay to reach the game. Club opening lead. Not great news for us. This is very indicative the King of Clubs is offside. You wouldn't really lead away from a king into an auction like this. I mean, maybe North had no good opening lead choices. It's possible he's sitting on like the diamond ace, the heart queen, and the spade ace or something, as well as the club king. Partner has yet to thank me for my dummy. <laughs> I mean, not a terrible contract to be in. We just have to guess the jack of spades. I hope that nothing else goes wrong. Probably get a heart switch. I mean, unless South is sitting on the heart queen, then South might switch back to diamonds. So a little bit revealing based on what South elects to do on this trick. 
They do play a heart after some thought. Could mean they have the, the Queen of Hearts. Upside down, though. Nine of Hearts. I think that was what the opponents mentioned. Yes, upside down. <clears throat> well, I would really like to know who's sitting in the other room. I mean, I'm sure there's a way I could find this out. Not that important, but it would be nice to know who our opponents are. I have to imagine this is not scored barometer, <laughs> but I guess we'll see. Oh, well, hard to know if that's a good news or bad news for us. I mean, probably means we're going to make the contract, but it also might mean that North has like ace-jack double ton of spades, in which case it was going to be hard to misguess this hand. Yep, my heart goes back to the queen and king. So partner needs to be a little careful about what to do in case spades split badly. It looks pretty natural to me to rough a heart now. Wait, maybe you don't need to. Maybe you can rough a heart. No, it, it looks pretty natural to rough a heart now and cash the king of spades, right? Maybe we should knock out the diamond ace first, just in case spades are 4-1. I don't know. Not not my problem. Not going to think about it. I've had my two warm-up boards, though, now, which is good because I've been dummy for both of them. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm locked in. I'm guessing partner will find a some way to make the contract somewhat safely. So he does rough a heart. This looks a little scary to me because now when they get in with the diamond ace, they might be able to play a fourth heart. Yeah, I timing could get a little bit tricky. I think... Okay, he plays a diamond to the king and ace. I, I was going to suggest that North probably had the diamond ace. All right, they play back a club, so that makes our life easier. I suspect it was ace-jack double ton of spades. I guess we'll find out in a second. No! <gasps> Oh my. Okay, well, you know, maybe I spoke too soon. <laughs> Partner has mentioned that he missed time the play, but all good. North didn't have a fourth heart to lead, so you know, kind of no harm. It feels good for Team Rob. Yeah, we, we are Team Amateurs, I think, is the name. So... <clears throat> it should be an okay result. I mean, I kind of expect them to make it in the other room as well. But definitely happy with uh, bidding and making a game on that one. All right. So we could reopen with double again. We could balance with three hearts. I think I like three hearts. I mean, I kind of hated in that 
partner's very likely to raise me with, like, Jack Doubleton, and that's not a good holding for me. But I feel like at Imps, this is our best chance to get to game. Like, either 3 no or 4 hearts seem like our most likely games. I mean, it's, you know, like, it's very possible we're called for 6 diamonds or something. Partner has, like, a singleton heart, king, queen, fifth of diamonds, and the queen of clubs. Um, okay, thanks, Pard. Heart lead. So we have a club, a spade, and a diamond to lose. We're basically just guessing the diamond suit. I... Five of hearts. I guess I'm putting up the queen. I mean, if hearts are five zero, First off, I don't think South would be leading the five. That seems like a weird spot card. A spade, two spades. We don't have a ton of information. I mean, South didn't lead a spade. That's kind of all we know. North has turned up with maybe six spades. I mean, the four of spades looks encouraging, so it sounds as if South might have the spade ace, maybe spade king. I don't know. I'm gonna play a diamond to the king and jack of diamonds. So south did have the spade ace. That made me think that east probably had or. Not East. The player on my right had most of the missing high cards. Craig, in the middle of play, dummy should be quiet, but in the middle of play, suggested that we um, play 2 no trump in competition is always limit plus. Or a couple of other times as well. Alright. A little strange that South on that hand didn't preempt um, three spades, or even four spades, honestly. I mean, at these colors, partner opened in third seat. Hey Cooney, what team am I on? We're on team amateurs. I I'm only really playing one set because Craig's partner for this thing is busy for specifically this one segment. So just filling in for one session. Hopefully it goes okay. Yeah, if we had reopened with double again, we would have, things would not have gone so well. Yeah, one session to uh, make sure we get the, the um, average down. One no by partner, okay. Um, so we play 14 to 16. Well, 
I mean, I could put Puppet here. Or I could transfer to Diamonds and show Spade Shortness. Those are basically the two options. I, I think with only 11, I'm more tempted to just bid Puppet and stick it in 3 now than I am to go looking for five diamonds. I, I do have two aces, which is nice, but the jack of diamonds, jack of clubs, I think are better for no trump. So... So let's just start with puppet. I mean, if we don't find a heart fit, then so be it. I'm just going to bid 3 now. If I had a little bit more in the way of high cards, I might go fishing for a diamond slam, because that's possible, right? OK. Good luck, pard. Well, this could be a swing. I mean, we just have nine top tricks and three no trump, which is great. They didn't find a heart lead. The opponents have a huge spade fit, and five diamonds could go down if the clubs are not friendly. Honestly, think I would just ask about clubs at this point. I, I probably would not play the handout. Say I'm gonna go run the diamonds, go ace of clubs, jack of clubs to the king. How are things working for me? Looks like North had a bit of a difficult opening lead problem. I mean, maybe not from their actual hand, but it was going to be tough for North to find a heart lead. Looks like they had ace jack fourth or king jack fourth. Or jack third. <laughs> in which case the hearts were blocked. Huh, so if partner had opened a club, which might happen in the other room, north is gonna get bid spades, south is also gonna bid spades. I mean, the opponents do pretty well in spades. They make four spades, right? We do make five diamonds if we guess the club suit, but that could be a pretty huge swing. Feels like some decent boards so far. I mean, I, I have no idea how board one feels. Again, it could be <laughs> big swings either direction on that one. But four boards in, we're pretty happy. Hmm. So spade by north, two clubs. Partner raises to three clubs. He had cubids available. So I think it's more likely that north has values than partner. North is thinking. Three diamonds. Okay. I mean, now I'm happy to get three hearts. I was going to say if North had reopened with, or if North had like made a takeout double, I might have been a little less comfortable telling the opponents I had hearts because they could find a good four spade game. I mean, this has felt great. We just get to play game on every hand, and <laughs> the opponents can't do anything about it. Although, this is one where 
it feels like we might have a bit of a difficult decision if five diamonds comes back to us. I do not have good defense at all, especially against a diamond contract. Well, <laughs> thanks, Bard. King of Spades lead, huh? Hmm. Partner didn't want to bid two spades on this. Yeah, I, I don't know. Three clubs is fine. Three clubs is fine. Okay, I'm going to need a minute. I mean, if Trumps are splitting, then there's no problem. Well, there could be a problem. Clubs could be 4-0, but... Is there anything I can do against 4-1 hearts? I don't think so. I, I think I'm just gonna win this and try and pull trumps. So now we need the hearts to split and the clubs to split, because I'm not going to just lead a club to the 10. is to go down as few as possible now. <laughs> so how can we do that? I think it's just run clubs. I could rough a spade in my hand. If I play a spade pitching a diamond, north wins, and if they play back a spade... Yeah, it's, it's just not helpful.
All right. South can rough, play back a diamond. <clears throat> Down to Not much we could do about that once we got to the contract. I mean, if I know that hearts are 4 1 from the start. Yeah, I don't think so. Alright. We do get to open all 11s, though. Not that that's different from any other day. <laughs> so. So happy to open this hand, but at least I have an understanding partner now who's not going to go blasting three now, Trump. Hmm. I don't think there was much I could do in four hearts. My hand just gets tapped far too quickly. Oh, but the opponents apparently can jump to three now. A diamond to heart past three now. Does four spades make on the previous hand? Seems unlikely. They have no dummy entry to take a diamond finesse. I'm gonna lead a spade. End of discussion. <laughs> Gonna lead a spade. All right, we play reverse Smith. Need to remember that. Nine, five, two, ace. I mean, the two looks encouraging. Two of diamonds. That feels like bad news for me. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, if partner has the diamond ace, then they don't have stuff. Do I want to know who's playing in the other room? No, it's fine. It's fine. If I'm not able to figure it out myself, then maybe that's the point of the tournament. I don't want any unauthorized information. I guess I'm playing low. Eight of diamonds. <laughs> now the six? Uh-oh. <laughs> is this holding? It is. See, the thing is, even if I lead a club and partner has the jack, it's still not good enough to beat the contract. I think I just have to continue <laughs> playing spades. All right. You got a heart, buddy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Eight. Yep. Could have cashed a couple of tricks. Maybe I should have. Yeah, maybe I should have. I don't know. It's imps. Sometimes you just gotta try and beat the contract, right? This is 
six of diamonds. <laughs> what a play. <laughs> Yeah, I guess north wasn't quite good enough in diamond spots. If I had king eight fifth, then they couldn't afford to just cash the ace of diamonds. Fun to see me play a match? Well, I'm glad that I have the opportunity to do so. We will be playing another match tomorrow night as well. Uh, like 36 hours from now, if you're curious about timing. <laughs> I, I announced it in the Discord. What did they announce this as? 15 to 17. Thank you. Oh, I guess we're supposed to be announcing our no trump, right? 1 no, 3 no. Hmm. I know Gib would lead the King of Clubs. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll lead a heart. Fourth best, right? This doesn't look like a great dummy for us. Five of hearts, nine, ten, queen. Okay. I mean, surely Declare goes after diamonds. We just hope that they have ace third, I guess, instead of ace doubleton. Still not great news. All right, upside down smith. So we'll see how partner feels about hearts. They play the nine. Three of spades. And we just play upside down everything, like, all the time. So all of my count signals are upside down. Heart discard. Spade. Sure. Oh, <laughs> okay, good try, partner. Good try. I, I should have probably unblocked the, um, the king of clubs. Maybe that would have been more threatening. Hmm. So if I lead a spade, do we beat this? Probably not. I mean, we have three spades in the ace of hearts, but as long as Declare still guesses the diamond suit. Yeah, not much that we could do. Okay, two hearts, intermediate. Well, we had a good start. It felt like things have not gone so great since. I mean, board five feels reasonable, board six is fine. We gave up a couple of over tricks. Board seven, opening lead choice cost an over trick. <clears throat> Guess I'll lead a club, look for a club ref. We have a heart card. So partner being a past hand for seat favorable. 
kind of means that they can't really have much. So if they do have this king of clubs over here, then they probably don't have much else. All right, Declare gets to pull trumps. So North has turned up with one spade, two clubs, six hearts. Wait, oh, partner had king, queen, doubleton. <laughs> I see. Wait, what? I didn't get my club rough? Partner, what was that? <laughs> uh, okay. <clears throat> I mean, it only cost an overtrick. Yeah, it turned out the opponents were a little bit light on both ends for the three now. True. I mean, that's one of the things when you're defending an auction like one no three no and you pick up a 13 count, you don't really expect partner to have much help for you in any of the suits. Club will overcall spade. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Miscounted. I'm on to you. I am on to you. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if that was actually true? That they did just miscount their high cards? Well, the opponents have bid my suit. My second suit, that is. Partner couldn't find spade support. And partner had a bunch of ways to show spades. So he's got to be very short in spades. We know he's short in clubs from the auction. I think it's likely that spades are 5 4 2 2 around the table, with South having four of them. I still don't know what else to do other than to just lead the spade ace, though. Four tricks in my hand, I need partner to have two more. Wow. North bid two clubs rather than a no trunk with a spade stopper. That's very surprising to me. Oh my god! What? <laughs> well, Maybe I should have kept that spade. Pitched a diamond instead. I, I don't think it really matters one way or another.
Okay, I have not been paying attention to the club spots, but I think I only get one from here. Wow. So, I mean, North was, I guess, a little bit light, but one no feels like a much better bid than two clubs. Hmm. I would have been happy to penalize two clubs if my new partner had some stuff. Hard for partner to take action with a stiff spade and the opponent's heart suit. At least we didn't miss much. We're not making four hearts or anything. All right, I haven't decided, am I reversing? I think so. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just bid three hearts. I don't think we're headed towards a slam. We don't have a spade fit. I don't see any reason to expose the fact that I have spades. I mean, maybe partner would be worried and bump me with like a stiff queen of hearts to four hearts if he's worried about spade stoppers and no trump. Eh. Three hearts feels fine. I don't want to tell the opponents that I'm too suited for my three heart bid, otherwise they might lead a trump against four hearts. Okay, partner bids three no anyway. I'm pretty happy with that outcome. Good luck, partner. <clears throat> I have presumably some extra values here. Whoa. Partner has a heart fit and bid three now with weak spades. He was really masterminding this one, wasn't he? So how does four hearts do? We lose a club, a spade, and depending on the location of the heart queen. And it looks like, how many tricks do we have in no trump? We have two diamonds, three spades, and three clubs is eight. And partner could technically guess the hearts to score a ninth. It all depends on how the opponents defend. I mean, a diamond switch looks fairly natural looking at my hand, a stiff ace of diamonds. But if they like return a spade, for example, partner can just win and set up hearts. He doesn't even need to worry about guessing the heart suit. He can abandon all of those minor suit cards in, the, in his hand. I keep wanting to say north. Because, like, the way I'm situated, that's north. But, all right, we get the scary diamond return. Well, partner has come up with a plan. Not so easy to play this hand in 3 now. In four hearts, the play is, I guess, pretty straightforward. Well, actually, in four hearts, we don't have a lot of entries to partner's hand either. So we're basically just gonna need like queen double ten of hearts on side. They didn't continue diamonds. Oh. Well, that makes things Actually, I have no idea how that makes things. <laughs> Maybe partner does need to guess hearts. He needs to get back here. The, the entries are a little bit broken. I would probably fly king, honestly. Okay, he does. No! <laughs> uh... I 
I guess we're just going down. You gotta stick in the jack, but... Man, this could have gone better. Oh, just everything is offside. South has all of the cards. Well, you are not down one, partner. Wait, unless I miss the diamond spots. Are all the diamonds good? Maybe all the diamonds are good. <clears throat> Want to be careful in this end position, though, because if you just cash all of your clubs and then go king of diamonds diamond, my hand gets squeezed. So you do want to cash all the clubs stripping the opponent's clubs, but then you want to exit a low diamond. Uh oh. Or I guess this works. Both hands are set up. Down two. Hmm. I mean, four hearts is only down one. So, might be a small loss on that one. Fortunately for us, Four Hearts does go down. Why did they get the diamonds wrong? Spade went to the king, the Ten of Diamonds came back, and North played the four. And South just got in and didn't continue diamonds. Feels kind of weird. Club a diamond double. I'm under the impression that this is fit showing. <laughs> I know basically everyone plays like fit jumps in competition always. So hopefully that's what we have going on here. Feels like a good hand to use it on. Pass, pass, double. Um, I kind of want to take up more room now. <laughs> I really want to just like take up as much room as possible. I was considering just jumping to three diamonds anyway, immediately. Um if I didn't have a fit showing jump. But yeah, it feels as if I may have gotten in the way of the opponent's auction a little bit. Sounds like North has a pretty good hand over here. Opener. I'm not really sure I understand three spades. Because South could have bid two spades over two hearts with a, heart, with a spade fit. So this to me feels like, I don't know. <laughs> Um, I mean, I suspect South just has a minimum opener and didn't think that it was, they were supposed to bid two spades with a minimum. They thought it showed extras, which it most certainly does not. Okay, Ace of Diamonds. Uh, 
Um, any chance that partner has the club ace? I'm gonna say no. Still feels like I should be switching to clubs. I mean, that has to be our best chance to beat this, right? Partner is not getting a heart rough. They're never misguessing the club suit if partner has the queen. All right. Well, did our best. Looks like Declare has the rest. So we did interfere, <laughs> at least as much as we possibly could. Yeah, south should just be bidding two spades over two hearts. Although it's really weird that north doubled a diamond. I mean, maybe they're playing some sort of unusual system, right? But double would normally show 4-4 four, four in the majors. One spade is natural and forcing, denying four hearts. So north should have had 4-4 four, four in the majors, at least for the negative double. But I'm not too familiar with the opponent's conventions. We have a big hand, 18 count. Start with a heart if I can. If they open... Okay, I, I was going to say if they open like a spade or something, I would be a little bit torn between a two heart overcall and a double. Three diamonds. I think I want to double and bid four hearts. Is that crazy? Like double, partner bids three spades and I bid four hearts and partner can correct to four spades. It gets a little hairy if the opponents make a big diamond preempt, but given the vulnerability, I think that's less likely than us being able to have a constructive auction from here. And I mean, if South raises to four diamonds and it goes pass pass and we get to double or we get to balance with four hearts, once again, I've kind of showed my hand. Partner might expect I'm like six four in the majors for this type of sequence, but I think it's all totally fine. Okay, four hearts it is. Partner bids four spades here. I'm gonna have a bit of a decision to make. I think we correct to five clubs. Left hand opponent long in the tank over four hearts. <laughs> long thought and passes. Okay, partner doesn't correct. Thanks, Bird. Ace of Spades lead. Diamond switch. <laughs> he says you're welcome. <laughs> he says you're welcome. Four card Trump support and a singleton.
So we can't really go down. We can lose a spade, a heart, and a club in the worst case scenario. Probably gonna lose all of those given left hand opponent's long thought. Although, the longer South thinks, I wonder if South has a big hand with spades. Yeah, this is this is a little bit of a concerning play. I think I'm gonna rough with this with the Jack of Hearts. I'm worried that South actually has eight spades on this auction and that's what South was thinking about and just decided never to take a call given the vulnerability. It would be a little weird to not try three spades, I guess, over the double, but maybe... Anyway. Okay, we were close. We were close. <laughs> South has uh, a seventh of spades. And the hearts split. So north is two, one, seven, three, and shape. I think south is more likely to have led a stiff club than a, a singleton ten of clubs than a singleton king of clubs, so I guess I'm gonna go ace of clubs. All right, 480. On to board 13. We got four boards to go. Thank you, thank you. How do I feel about our set? Not great. Board seven's a little sketchy. I mean, the opponents have missed some games, but I don't feel like we've won a ton of imps on our card. Heart of Spade, two clubs. Looks like we're leading diamonds. I guess it depends what South does. I mean, if South if South corrects to two hearts and it goes all pass, we'll lead a diamond for sure. If South leaves two clubs in, I might lead a trump. Ah, two clubs failure to alert is gazilly. It's actually really weird that in certain countries they have like vastly different alert systems. So I, I don't know if that's what's going on here. I mean, clearly two diamonds alerted as eight plus is gazilly. Um, but North did not alert two clubs. They might also be having a misunderstanding, I have no idea. I just made two clubs, two diamonds, three clubs, four hearts. The bad news for us is that trumps are splitting. King of spades is on side. I should probably lead a diamond. I mean, partner didn't double two diamonds. I, I don't know, like this, something about this auction just isn't adding up to me. It could be the fact that North forgot they were playing Gazilli. Maybe I'm supposed to lead a spade? 
Spade Blade just seems crazy. Just gotta leave a diamond. I don't know. Well, that's a pretty good dummy, at least for this type of auction. One spade is a really weird bid. A heart of spade with three card support. I guess I was supposed to lead a spade. Hmm. Oh, they said they play four card majors. Oh. Did they? I don't see it. I, I actually don't see them saying that they play four card majors in the text. They said two over one. I don't know, I, I think they have a convention. Oh, we have a convention card. We have a convention card. They do not. I, I get it. Okay. I also haven't been following the play on this one. Is Declare just claiming the rest at this point? Pulling trumps and then running the club suit? They were what? 1525? That might be a bad result, because four hearts is not easy to bid, and it requires a lot of luck. Probably for the reason that it's not easy to bid, it requires everything to go perfectly. Queen of hearts on side, diamond guess. Maybe you don't need everything, but on a spade bleed, things are a little bit more difficult for declare. So, diamond on our left, partner overcalls a spade. I don't plan on bidding in this auction still. <laughs> Here we go. Two clubs is 16 plus. <laughs> I, I don't think it has to be 16 plus. I think it's, you know, maybe they're just unfamiliar with what Gazilli is, like they recently added it to the card and they just... Or, you know, didn't know that they were playing it over a heart of spade. It's only going to be over a heart of spade for people who are unfamiliar. Um, Alright, I'm going to leave the opponents to do their thing, have their discussion. The three boards to play. So, how do I feel about the set? I don't know. I really don't know. Just a lot of things could happen on some of these hands. You know, I could have been two spades here. I wasn't even thinking about it until this double came up, and then I just, I had already mentioned that I was just going to pass throughout, but two spades would have been highly preemptive in an auction that easily could be the opponent's. The, the only issue is, like, partner might have a big hand, and then partner ends up jumping to four spades and we're in a 5-2 fit. Maybe I should have done it, though. Lead partner suit. 
That is a good dummy. All right, partner is given encouragement at trick one and then encouraging Smith at trick two, although that might have just been a singleton. I'm pretty content to say that he could have Jack 10-6 the spades over there. And what else? <laughs> I guess he could have... Wow, was was North really expecting... Okay, three of hearts. I mean, there's no way North was thinking about, like, crossing to hand and hooking the diamond, right? That would just be, be insane. Oh. Sounds like partner didn't really want a spade lead. Hmm. So the encouraging three of hearts feels like a weird card to discard. That's, I mean, North has showed four hearts in the auction, presumably. I mean, we've seen, I think it was the same North make a unusual negative double before, but I expect them to have four hearts. So partner's down to a doubleton heart. They must have come down to ace doubleton, right? But the fact that Declarer hasn't just started playing on hearts probably means it's more like ace 10 doubleton. Otherwise, North with like queen jack 10 fourth could just knock out the ace king of hearts, set up some tricks. Okay. Ace. <laughs> so if partner has the club ace, they can set up spades. I I'm having a hard time imagining what partner's values are if not for the club ace. Okay. I guess partner does have the club ace, but their spades just aren't good enough. And we're double squeezed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what happened here? <laughs> so partner never got the king of spades? I'm confused. I, I, I don't understand what happened on that hand. Hmm. Weird. All right, two boards to play. So two passes, we've seen this player open very, very, very light in third seat before. I don't think that's what's going on here, both because of the vulnerability and we have a seven count. But South might want to be a little conservative. Looks like they're not giving partner any leeway though with a jump to two now. I wonder if this is a heart raise. It is.
I mean, a lot of players, even if you do play Drury, opposite third seed openers, will still use two no trump to show the limit raise with four or more trumps. Which I think is quite reasonable. I mean, you don't really want to be jumping to two no with the opposite a third seed opener most of the time if it doesn't have support for partner suit. You just get way too high all the time. Four hearts, huh? Well, it's between a club or a diamond. I mean, a club would basically be trying to get a rough and hoping that we somehow come to four tricks. Let's say a club, a heart, a heart rough, or a club rough, and one other trick somewhere. A diamond might actually set up tricks for our side, or a partner could get a diamond rough. I guess a club is easiest to see us beating the contract. I mean, if partner just has ace queen of clubs and the king is over here, they're just going down immediately. Well, that is something. I don't think we're getting a club rough. <laughs> I'll say that much. Probably not gonna rough any clubs in our hand. <clears throat> Looks like a diamond lead wouldn't have worked out either. Also, South just has three card support. I don't know, it feels like they could have announced that. I think everywhere in the world would assume this shows four. I don't think I was ever leading a trump anyway, but, you know, maybe it would have been worth considering if I knew that South was turning up with only three hearts. All right, club to the ace, heart. Hmm. I think I'm just going to play back a trump. I mean, if Declare has the club king, there's really nothing we can do, right? So I think I'm just going to defend passively and we do set up a heart trick. Partner and I have both high load in the diamond suit. <clears throat> Yep. There is no guess, declare. So only real question is, do you have ace, king, third of diamonds? And do you have king, queen, third of spades? I suspect yes on both accounts, but you know, maybe we actually can beat this. Oh, oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess king, queen, fourth of spades would be the the question. So, I mean, partner never gets squeezed. I, I can always just play back a diamond. Declare roughs.
But I think Declara did have King Queen Fourth of Spades, I suspect. All right. Four hearts made. These have not felt like great boards down the stretch. Nothing we could really do about that hand. I mean, not with the spades breaking. I don't think I could even give Declare a guess. Oh well. Last board. Last board. I'll probably stick around for like a couple of minutes. Craig might want to um, jump on and talk about hands. Two spades. Partners of past hand. We don't play equal level correction. I'm just going to bid three hearts. This is a little bit of a scary bid, but I, do, I can't really afford to bid three spades. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to pass and kind of let partner know that I don't really have a good hand and we might not have been making four hearts. I don't think this is a forcing pass situation, but maybe it is. I guess we'll see what partner thinks. <clears throat> It kind of function. A lot of these things where it doesn't, where it's not really a forcing pass, kind of function as one. I mean, partner's not obligated to bid. He can pass out four spades, but if he thinks that our side was making four hearts, okay, he does pass out four spades. Not so bad. We do have to decide what to lead though. At trick one. I mean, a heart lead's 100% safe. A diamond could blow a trick. North has ace third. South has jack third. Although, I guess partner gets a diamond rough in that scenario. I guess North could have ace double ten and South has jack third. Club lead might be necessary to get a club rough. So if I think North has shape, North is probably too suited with spades and clubs, which makes me a little bit less likely to lead clubs. It still feels like the simplest way to beat the contract, though. Partner has the ace of hearts as an entry. I win the ace of spades. I play a heart to partner's ace, get a club rough. Okay. That is a hand. <laughs> that is a hand. Whoa. Declare just took the hook at trick one, huh? Yep. All right, 
right, well, we did beat the contract, so. I guess we're happy about that. Also looks like we had no hope in Four Hearts, which is good. We lose a heart, club, a diamond, a diamond rough, a spade. Yeah, it looks pretty bad news for us. Well, so I guess we're done. Can we see other table results? No, but what we can do... So apparently we are currently eight boards in and we are ahead by eight. It's probably not great news for our side. Okay, I, I will catch up on the action in just a sec. Um, let me check Discord. <clears throat> so how's this going? Ah, we see the same auction we had on board nine, I remember this, and North with Queen Jack third of spades did end up bidding a no trump. So I am happy with the way things have gone, I think. Oh yeah, our teammates are making over tricks in this contract. This is great. Way to go, teammates. By over tricks, I mean they have exactly seven tricks. They have a diamond, a heart, a spade, and a club to cash. <laughs> uh, cool, cool, good talk. All right. So, hopefully Craig will be joining me in, he said 10 to 15 minutes. Whether Declara takes this club finesse at the end or not is still going to earn her side a few imps. Okay, those are gonna be important because I don't feel great about the second half of our set. I, I'm not convinced that there was anything that we could have done for the most part on some of these hands, but um, maybe it felt like we got outplayed a little bit on some of the boards. So we're up by 13, not too bad. Let's take a quick look at some of the big swings that we've had so far. Um, board one, not too much, same auction in general. Uh, board two, they got to four spades and ended up going down. So a heart opening lead, a spade was led up to the ace, and another heart got played. Declare takes a club finesse, gets a diamond return. But now Declara can just claim, right? Oh no, it's like a little bit complicated, yeah? Because they don't get a hurt rough in the east hand. Wow, the, the play on that board too was a little bit complicated in this room. I guess they could have, they could have made it if they had guessed a little better. Um, but then big swing back the way of the opponents. Board seven, they had this North opened a no trump and miscounted his high cards. <laughs> yeah, 15 to 17, right. Nice miscount. He was just in third seed and elected to open a no trump to put some pressure on. And that vaulted them into game. At this table, our teammates elected to open two diamonds on the south hand. Not unreasonable. But... Pass, pass, double, south passes, west bids two spades, and north then just competes to three diamonds. A little bit passive, but kind of understandable. 14 count ups at a preempt. You don't really expect to be making game too often. Board eight, our teammates do reach the good four heart contract. It got doubled. 
was it a good four heart contract? I think it was fine, right? It was like one of two club finesses and either the heart hook or the diamond hook, something to that effect. Um, but so four hearts came home, we just saw board nine, small part score swing for a different choice of what to do over the negative double. Okay, we're on to board 10, and we haven't missed much. That has been my recap. <laughs> so, east open a heart, south pass. So who was I? I was east, right? Yeah, I remember this big hand. So a heart and no trump, two clubs. Hey, how's it going? Good. So our teammates seem to have uh, done us some favors here, which is always nice. Is it? I mean, we we had a good first half, but our second half was pretty bad. Um, we had a good first few boards, I and mean, unfortunately, this board seven, there was really just nothing we could do about. Yeah, it. he. Um, and there was another the other game they bid on light values. There's nothing we could do about that either. Like, you know, it didn't feel like we were. Um, doing it to ourselves, they just played well and got lucky. They, you mean, had bidding misunderstandings and got lucky? <laughs> I thought they were mostly joking about that when the guy said he miscounted. Was like he obviously didn't miscount his points. He just opened a fourteen point no trump because he felt like it. It's hard for me to yeah. reckon that with what happened on board nine, <laughs> but but yes. Um. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It, it felt like the opponents at our table were very weak, but uh, <clears throat> I do not know them. Yeah, board board not board nine. It's true. Uh, I do not really care for uh, care for North Sack yeah. there. You made a great lead on that board too. I made a great lead on that. Board. I mean, yeah. I know like you don't have a lot of second choices, but obviously it was very, very Yeah, good. well, I was just like, uh, I guess I'm just going to passively exit a second spade. I mean, there's no way North bid two clubs rather than a no trunk with Queen Jack third, right? <laughs> yeah. Queen Jack third if I three two in a minimum. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think he probably looked at it and said that he had a minimum with a bad trick source and only one stopper that we could decide when he takes. So just didn't want to play no trump. I mean, I'm not saying I agree with that logic, but I think that's what the logic yep. was. Well, they get to the same 3 no as we did on board 10. They had a gazilli auction. I, I did, this was, yeah, this was pretty brutal to play, but there wasn't really much I could do about it. Yeah, so... Maybe I could have made it a little trickier for the opponents, but I think not much, right? Looking at that dummy, the defense is going to kind of direct itself. Yeah, I mean, not not with both hard honors offside. There's just not nothing you can right. do. Yeah, I liked your play of heart to the king. I, I wasn't thinking too deeply into the hand, but it looked like the simplest route to nine tricks. So... It was both the simplest route to nine tricks, and remember, I'd already seen South show up with... Um... Uh, the Ace of Clubs and King of Spades, so, you know, at some point his hand would have been good enough that he might have yep. done something. You know, either no Trump overfall or if he had uh, doubled and harder few or takeout double. So, you know, it felt like both, right, both going with the odds, and if it worked, I could just claim on the next mm -hmm. trick. Yeah. So, unfortunately, there was really not much to be done for it. Wow, we had the exact same auction on board five. I'm surprised by that. Kind of normal, right? Yeah. I know everyone's bids were, you know, everyone's bids were normal, even though it was competitive. So that's, uh, you know, that's mm -hmm. that. Yeah, I guess. Uh, both North and South have reason to be optimistic about the defense, but no one can double. Yeah. This... Okay, I don't understand why everyone's returning spades on this board. That feels really weird to me. Uh, no, against, against me they played a double. I know, game. but then when they got in with the, um, the Ace of Clubs, they played a second spade. Well, they played... I think at that point, I don't know... I don't recall how they had carded... Um, but maybe South was worried about giving me something for free at that point. I don't know if I had, like, King, Queen, Fifth of Diamonds, and then they could duck a diamond and then, uh, you know, and then claim. I think I think he also knew 
Um, it was a little weird, though, right? Because if I'm trying to set up entries, he should be ducking the king of clubs and taking the next one and then play a spade, and now my hand is dead. Um, I think winning winning the first club and playing a spade seems... Uh, um, you know, it seems a little uh, out of sync. Yeah, okay. Well, our, our teammates have work to do on this one because Declare is setting up the hearts. I, I guess... Yeah, although that's not... That's still not enough, right? He needs at least one club trick, even if well, I mean, now it's with both hearts offside. He certainly does. Right, but the defense can now take um, what? a club, the queen of diamonds, two hearts, and a spade. Oh, man, spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, uh, I just saw... Well, what can you do? Um, yeah, I think it's going to be hard to screw up the defense from here. Is it? Yeah, so just plays the second diamond, and they've got five tricks fairly easily. Yeah. I mean, we might lose three imps on it, but we're not going to lose 12 or 13, whatever yeah. it is. 13, yeah, I yeah, think. yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's what... The West obviously is, uh, well, I shouldn't say obviously, but West is a player I'm familiar with. East is not, nor were the two at our table. I think they were all, uh, uh, were they all Norwegians? Uh, Swedes, yes. I thought at our table they were Norwegian. Am I right? Uh, I think they had a Swedish flag, but I'm not certain. Uh, you are correct. Is that not the Jan? who I talked with. I, I don't know Jan's last name that I spoke with. Um, I'm not sure either. I was thought it might be Jan Comras, who I know is involved in WBF governance, but I'm not uh, sure. Ah, okay, okay. Man, they're playing unbearably slowly. I mean, I don't really understand Declare's hesitation now. What? <laughs> so what What nine tricks is he hoping to take by making this play? Because I certainly cannot figure it out. And obviously he has entry problems, as I did, but I don't see why he would start hearts and not continue hearts. Okay, this is really strong I defense. Same, I think he was in the same position I was, where he just needed to have the Queen of Diamonds in South Sand. Yeah, yeah. Oh no! What? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright. I'm sorry, that's... Possibly a misclick for his other red nine because this play is incomprehensible. That's. Well, there, there's a long tank. I mean. Yeah, this is possibly asking for an undo because, well. Okay. <laughs> and the match is tied. I do not know what's going on there, but. Uh... But I'm feeling much better about my session. Wow. <laughs> he, uh, it's it, a little bit late for the apology, but but yes. Um, oops. Yeah, just whatever. You know, player, play, players lose their minds once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. That's all right, because yes, as mentioned, our the second half of our card was bad. <laughs> Not as bad as theirs, apparently. This, this uh, hand went great for us, by the way. <laughs> oh, I know, but so I was actually going to ask you, was your two hearts intended as a yep. fit jump, or did you just happen to have diamonds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was intended as a fit jump, and then when north, like... When, like, South didn't do anything and North came back in, I was like, I'm just going to continue preempting. 
Yeah, I mean, I just, from my point of view, I was pretty sure it was a fit jump, but I was also pretty sure that two hearts would be at least as good as three diamonds and probably better. Yeah. Oh, no, like, of, of course, of course. Like, your bid was fine. I was just like, man, it sounds as if the opponents don't know what's going on, and I just want to continue taking up room. I mean, double dummy, I could have raised, right? We could make four hearts. Yeah, but they make four spades. <laughs> right? So... Well, yeah, but I think if we if we bid it confidently, it's not totally clear we're going to get the four spades. Well, maybe North had two. It's to go it, it's certainly true that um, when South forgets to bid at their second turn, then it's hard for them to get to four spades anymore. Right. Yeah, I was a little surprised that. Um, uh, well, I guess he didn't really have. A chance to, right? Well, no, yeah, I was a little surprised you didn't bid. When I saw his handles, I was surprised you didn't bid two spades over Well, two North also did something insane, right? North made a negative double with 4 3 in the majors. I assumed that that was just how they play. I mean, in that case, then can you really blame South for not bidding? They don't know they have a fit. Uh, yeah, except they do, right? Well, I don't know, but if they're playing a method when one major shows five and double shows four, then they have to have a club fit if they don't have a major suit fit, because North has to have somewhere. Okay, to... okay, fair point. Yeah. Oh, teammates! <laughs> okay, I don't. I I. I love that he waited like. I love that he waited like 20 minutes to complain about the play. Like he was just like seething so much he couldn't. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of incredible. Um, <clears throat> well, three spades has made four for a push board. So that was an opportunity missed. On this one, um, yeah, I think it's just hard, right? I mean, I think. Let's see. So, how did the option go here? Um, yes, you know, South probably should be accepting that game try, right? He's got a really good hand opposite a club game try. Uh, three clubs was just an asking bid, so South showed four with a minimum. Oh, I see. Yeah, like well. It's not clear I agree with that evaluation. Yeah, either. the singleton heart looks pretty good. Yeah, the ace queen jack for the clubs looks pretty mm -hmm. good. And obviously it's a lot easier for us to say that looking at uh at the full deal, but I don't know. I would you know, it's so when you open one club, it's certainly not a great hand, but when you find a spade fit a partner makes a game try, all of a sudden this is a very strong yep. hand. Oh, we have a new auction. I mean, oh, I just I thought this one went amazing for me. <laughs> yeah. You were so excited to table the dummy. <laughs> I mean, I think four clubs is so for people who missed it. Uh it went pass by me as west. Three diamonds Rob doubled. South pass, and I bid four clubs instead of three hearts, figuring that with a hand this week, I just wanted to play in our best and longest trump fit. And then, of course, Rob with the east hand saved me by bidding four hearts. Yeah. So I don't know if he grew with four clubs, but I thought it was superior choice. Yeah. Still do. Seems totally fine. Nothing wrong with that. Particularly non vulnerable, where. You know, if we lose six M's because somehow we're supposed to stumble into a four four hard fit, I don't really care. Sure. And I really don't want it to go. You know, three diamond double three hearts, uh all pass. I just you know, I don't have to see the dummies know it's a nightmare. Well, looks like they found their way to hearts anyway. It's hoping the th Yeah, the East End is just too good. Yeah, to I was hoping the three club opening might dissuade them. Well, except he has a club so it's totally safe for him to bid. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I mean, five clubs is a long ways off, but sure. Maybe a part, you know, partner has a single partner has a single spade or bids three spades, showing the spade king or something. It's not so far off. Sure. Yeah. True. True. The same ace of spades lead. Oh. 
Although at this table, Declare doesn't have the benefit of knowing that North has long diamonds. So I'll probably win one on this. They'll just take the club hook. What were our last results? Don't remember. Um, oh, oh, right, because it's a 30 minute delay, so. Yeah, I do not remember at all. <laughs> yeah, board thir the very next hand is the one that is a little bit sad. Probably lose a big game swing on that. Um, I just got a result in. Um... I don't know. I mean, they have 27 highs or something and a million tricks. I mean, obviously he played it well and maybe we underdefended a little bit, but it's always cold. I mean, I could have shifted to a club to break up the squeeze against myself, but that's very hard. No, board 13. Oh, sorry, I was looking at 14. Um, yeah. Yeah, 13 was a 9. Yeah. Not much, not much we could have done, but they stumbled into uh, a light game and had no trouble making it, especially after the normal, but saves them, I guess, opening yeah. lead. Yup. Meanwhile, I don't know why this trick is taking 45 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... Okay, listen. This is all for over tricks, right? And it just doesn't help declare if they get a pitch on the Queen Jack of Spades. Why would you ever rough with the two? Oh, that has to be safe. Well, but you can just rough with the J. It's the same thing. <laughs> well, no, except he doesn't know the King of Spades is about to drop. He was planning to cross and rough this one with the Jack, except now he doesn't need to. But he was always going to pull two. I mean, if Trumps are 3-0, you have a heart loser no matter what the... Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I'm on a very high level. Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about just in the normal, like... Dumb guy, sit back and take your tricks yeah. first. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, he's going to rough the Queen of Spades anyway. Okay, or not. Oh, you need to get it. Yeah, to get an entry for a club hook. Yeah. No. This way is much more effective. And now South, to avoid being end played, pitches the King of Clubs. <laughs> okay, all right. Um... <laughs> So <laughs> Queen of clubs to the king, win one. Yeah, next. How did we? How did we bam? I, I probably would have, would have made some different decisions in our board match tomorrow, but you got to be prepared. Yeah, well, also I was gonna see. Um, I don't think it's up yet, but we can see how we we're butlering to see. Uh, um, you know, to see how we were doing. Yeah, they have not put up the, uh, um, it's, around five bucks. It's probably yeah. not great, right? Because the opponents bid two very thin games against us, which, yeah. you know, our teammates didn't duplicate, but probably most of the field is not duplicating, and they made. And then, um, also, you went down on board 10, which is like the normal result, but some people in the field are making it. I think our butler is going to be pretty bad. Yeah. We also could have done three of better or playing in four hearts, although I think that's totally insane. Yeah. Like, I don't think it's possible for a normal expert pair to get to four hearts, but it does happen to do better. Yep. It's probably the better game. You think? I, I mean, you need, like, queen doubleton of hearts on side or something else good to happen. Um, whereas three, no, you have a lot of issues with your entries being tangled. Like, in hearts, you don't have issues with the entries being tangled. I mean, that's true, but with everything double-stopped, every time you lose a trick, the opponents have to help you out in some way with that problem. Mm. 
you know, I think in Hearts, a 4-1 heartbreak is the end of the world. And in 3 no Trump, you do kind of start eight before, you know, three spades and two diamonds is five and three clubs is eight. And you only need one extra trick somewhere, whether it's maybe the jack of diamonds or guessing the heart or not guessing the heart and having things be difficult for the defense to attack. So, I don't know. Kind of like 3 no Trump, even though obviously here it's uh, less cool. Well, our teammates got to... Four hearts. Yeah, so they're getting a more difficult lead, but I think... Well, it's it's not really more difficult when the heart queen is on side. I mean, you just win the club right. queen. Play a heart and, you know, hope things don't go terribly the next two or three tricks. Yeah, I mean, I think that's certainly by far the most attractive line. And, you know, from his point of view, is going to look a little dangerous, right? There could be a singleton. They might be able to, you know, if it's like queen third of hearts in east, win the queen, lead another club, win the ace and west and get a rough. So, you know, it's, there's not much he can do about it, but it's a more um, unnerving opening lead than yours. Yeah, well, they bit every suit <laughs> at our table, so. Right, well, that's um, cool. But yeah, it does look like heart to the jack. Yeah, I, I like the jack better than the ten. Always, always play your highest card. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Man, that six of diamonds still gets me. That hand where I opened a diamond on my 11 and they blasted into three no, and the guy had, you know, ace, um, ace, queen, jack, nine, seventh of diamonds or whatever. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He, he let a low diamond to the 10, <laughs> he crossed back to hand, and then led the six of diamonds out of hand, you know? But but see, like, this is another reason why I think the opponents at our table were not strong players. Like, that is a that is a classic thing that weak opponents do. They lead their lowest card. Um, right, in a position where he didn't want you to duck at all. Yeah. So, that was one, I think playing match one to board a match, you would absolutely have played a club, mm -hmm. but there's some chance you might have played the eight of clubs. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I but at imps, I was just like, the only way to beat this is if partner actually has real spades. Yeah. Yeah, there's, you know, like, obviously your defense was normal and probably correct at imps, but I was, you know, I was like, oh. Yarborough, and you were sitting there not catching your winners. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was actually wondering if maybe I should have played the Jack of Spades to, um, you know, to tell you that there wasn't really a future there, although I think when Declare has shown up with both the Ace and Kings, you know that. But I think that might have even made it more likely you would underlead a club. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, you know, you know the heart position, you know the spade position, you just have to hope something interesting has happened. Yeah. All right, teammates have a... I mean, they don't know yet. Um, clubs could still be 4-1, but there's not much they can do about that. But now that they've cashed a second club, they now know they have a guess for an over-trick, if they can manage. Right. How did my over-trick guessing go on board three? They also guessed the Queen of Diamonds on this one. Watching uh, Wolda, I guess. What? <laughs> they let the three of diamonds back? No, dude, please. We can't lose to this team. On board three? Yeah, they let it with no more entries to take a second finesse in case diamonds were 4 1. They, they led diamond to the king and then a low diamond. That seems a little odd. Hmm. That's very odd, because West is uh, quite a strong player. Must Neil's win? I think East was playing. Was East playing? I don't remember. Uh, I thought West was, but I could... Oh, you're right, East was playing it. Okay, three boards to play. We are... Up by one, and definitely no spoilers about how the match ended. We have no idea. <laughs> I forgot. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a diamond by south. They don't overcall spade on your hand on this one. I was wondering if I should have been two spades over the negative double with my hand. Um, I don't know. I mean that also like the table action was a little uh, a little scary. Like it turned out the guy had nothing to think about, but that was a very very slow negative double, which seemed really weird. Maybe he was thinking about bidding a no trump for some odd reason. Yeah, and he might have also just stepped away for a moment. Yeah. Right? But like the longer he started thinking, like I almost didn't make this overcall, and the more he thought, the more I was, uh, you know, feeling like I was about to get taught a lesson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't love how our last few boards had gone, and this is the kind of overcall that I would make some of the time on board one anyway. So I can final to do it. But obviously, kind of terrifying. Uh, you know, if the opponents give you any inclination that they know you're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like teammates are headed to three now. I, mean, I, do, I do not like any action out of your hand. I think you just pass, and if I can do something else, then you're very happy, and if I can't, then you're also very happy. Well, if you can't, then I would really like to bid two spades, I think. But, but yeah, the problem is That's if you have values. Right? Yeah, I mean, I might just get overboard, but... I mean, are you, other than the fact that it might steal something from the opponent, are you in such a hurry to be clearing two spades or two spades doubled? No, but, I mean, I tell you what to lead, right? You might not lead a spade otherwise against whatever. I didn't lead a spade. Would... What? <laughs> I didn't lead a spade. I, I know, I did. <laughs> but. I'm saying, yeah, yeah, but, like, that's the point. Like, some of the time your lead director is a yeah. Right, as opposed yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, you know, at math points even, I would be a little more tolerant of it because who cares? But at Amps, I think it's, uh, you know, it, it's a it's a weird way to bet the board. Mm. You know, you know they wouldn't do it at the other table even if my energy was normal. Why was North thinking so long over two now? Um, the whole thing was weird. I wonder if he was even having connection trouble because he thought for... It was probably a full 30 seconds before he made that negative double on just a completely normal hand, so maybe there was just something else going mm. on. Maybe we'll get some more, uh... <laughs> some more chat from him soon. <laughs> like, come on, still can't believe board 10. <laughs> Over oh, this north. I thought you were the... Oh, I, I mean... Well, this North thought for a long time over 2-0. Yeah, we probably had to figure out the a priori odds. His partner could take nine tricks in any hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Rude but fair. Um, uh, so, so, I mean, I've played with and against South plenty of times. He is a good player, so uh, I think that was just an atypical uh, you know, mind loss for him on that hand. We did have story time about the um, uh, the trials in Denver when we lost to the um, the fireman team last night. Uh, kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. So sometimes really great players do uh, you know do things they don't want to put in the newspaper. Yeah. Like, what is Declare doing on this hand? <laughs> Does it... I, I mean, he, he has three more cashers, but he wasn't even trying to take an over trick. Right. Or... Didn't go about setting up hearts. Yeah, I should probably have... Just played a club back to try to uh, try to break up the squeeze, and you know, sort of hoping for both a miracle and a mistake, and that was probably just uh, just a bad line of thinking. Yeah. yeah. They're just hoping that you know, seeing the diamond break it rattled him in some uh, some way that we might actually be able to go plus, but I think that's probably not really 
Not really a life possibility. Mm. All right. Two imps. We're behind by one. <laughs> so two boards to go. Yeah, this is another hand where things did not go well for us. The opponents just like get to four hearts. Yeah, you know, we obviously both gave counting spades, which was maybe a little silly, but I don't mind it. But the guy had no choice anyway because the spades were blocked. Oh, yeah, I, I, I knew that already that he had. Yeah. Well, I mean, I wasn't 100% sure what was going on in the spade suit, you know, looking at my eight third. Yeah. Your hand was still a bit of a mystery to me. Yeah, it was weird that they bid 2-0 no on the south hand. Ooh, two diamond over call. Nice, I like it. Um, with just three trumps. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I thought so too, but whatever I see pairs doing something like that, I just assume that it's what they're playing right or wrong. Yeah. You know, I don't know why they would choose not to play Drury, although they're playing those weird two bids, so maybe there was some system reason why they wanted a different two club available at past hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, also, like, oh my god, whatever, um, whatever, I see a pair playing, uh, those Fantunas two bids, I get a little nervous. <laughs> I guess they're guaranteed six, so it's different. I think the Fantunas one guaranteed at least five, you know, was five or six. Oh no. Which, uh, is basically impossible to play unless Oh you no. Uh... <laughs> Aha, uh -huh. is this, uh, is this ten imps of, uh, of pain we're about yep. to witness? <laughs> That's it. Or no, uh, 13, right? Um, 720, is 720 12 or... 720's uh, 12. Yeah. So if they go down just one. Yeah, I mean, they're not going to be, like, too upset with the spot that they're in. Because West did overcall, West might have the hard ace. But still, I mean, you could just get 800 against five diamonds, and that would be a much easier way to earn your game swing. <laughs> Sorry, I was running to an email, I missed what you said. Well, you know, five diamonds had 800 available. Oh. And I guess it's, it actually would have been 1,100 if five hearts was making. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, um, is that right? Well, if the king of clubs is on side. Well, because, uh, because, because the king of clubs would be yeah. on their hand, right? Yeah, not, not if something, not north of a stiff club. Yeah. yeah. Well, but then north would get I diamond rocks. Too, so rock, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean... Yeah. It's not like I don't understand South's bid, but I mean, both opponents had an opportunity to act on the first round of the auction, and they didn't. So... Yeah, I don't like... I don't know. I mean, obviously, I don't want to second-guess someone when I'm looking at all four hands, and he was looking at one hand, but you only have three trumps. I mean, it's true you have the singleton diamond, which maybe is an argument for bidding. Um... I don't know. No. Like, double is also pretty true. Five over five is saved for hands with voids. That's how I feel. Yeah, I'm saying, like, I, I think I like double better, but it's also much easier for me to say because I can see what's going on. I, I, I don't know about double. I mean, this has to be a forcing pass situation, right? So, yes. That, so I think South could pass. Like, show the single to nine and also show some interest in defending. Yeah, North would certainly double yeah. that. Okay, down one, big 12 imps going the other way. Ugh. Tough set. Yeah, it's true. This was an amazing hand, though. Yeah, this, um... I did like my final pass, but I, you know, I sort of gave North a little more credit for having 
an extreme hand than he actually did and figured he couldn't double. I really had no reason to, but I was definitely pretty nervous. Yeah, I mean, so, like, the two-spade opening made things difficult on me. Like, I would have bid Michaels over one-spade, but over two-spades, I didn't feel comfortable, vulnerable against not with a past partner <laughs> bidding all the way up um, to the four level. Right, well, yeah, I mean, you got to bid four diamonds, which, uh, which really gets the auction out of control pretty fast. Right, so... I, so I just tried three hearts, figuring that was our best chance at a game. You obviously have a raise. North just did something incomprehensible. Yeah, so South is apologizing for a misclick. I wonder if that pause before the claim in that 3 no Trump was asking for an undo and being told no. Although I thought in this event that, um, that undos were generally acceptable. That you were supposed, you expect know, like an immediate request uh, in an obvious position. You were supposed to allow. I have no idea. I mean, this is my first time playing. Yeah, I thought I saw. I thought I saw in the conditions that uh, this was an undo friendly event. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess it's just totally normal. Everyone's been four spades. In the just like, <laughs> totally normal. Yeah, that's that's what I would call it. Oh man, and I. So it goes to spade two spades to you well, a south. What do you do? Do you make the first show? I, I would double, but the I would too. But it's yeah. yeah. I was gonna say the auction's not over now. Also, I thought that I mean maybe it'll be easier here after the Michaels bid. I thought it was bad for North to take this club finesse. Oh, absolutely! I think it was insane. Well, wait a second. Hold on. Let's let's back up because North thinks the Ace of Hearts is offside, right? So, how? Right, which would make me entry list when this is a singleton. Oh, but like that's that's not the point, right? How is he getting tricks if the King of Clubs is off? Um, I see. Because you can win the hypothetical Ace of Spades and knock out the diamond and now the clubs are dead well that and we can just go ace of trump's trump and prevent heart roughs yeah it's not so obvious that you should be flying the ace of clubs i mean i think on this auction you should on the auction we had i don't think it's so clear and it did raise to four hearts i rate to have something although that raise can be kind of light i mean if you just go up with the ace and what do you play? I, you know, you can't really play a hard trick too, right? Or can you? Yeah, you can play a hard trick too. That's fine. Yeah, but are you ducking? Or are you putting in the king? Because if you go hard to the king and it loses, then the defense just goes ace of spades, spade, and you have to lose two hearts and the king of clubs from there. So maybe we should just play a trumpet trick too, and uh, but then one way or another, you need the ace of hearts on side. The hand is not makeable otherwise. Or the king of clubs on side, right? Right, but this declarer has already given up on that, probably. Oh, probably. sure, sure, sure. Yes, that is a hundred percent true. Okay, now were they beating this if West had flown the ace of hearts? Is an interesting question. Um. I suspect not, but I don't know. So, Ace of Hearts. <sighs> Probably a diamond is better, although I mean, you know, or King of Clubs diamond. I mean, you made it very clear to me that you had no Trump promotion, which was yeah. really helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, teammates did make four spades, so. Yeah. When the hand's over, I want... Well, actually, you know what? I, we can look at... You know, when the hand's over, we can look at um, the double dummy solver and see whether he could have made it, because I'm not... I, I think so. I think Declare yeah. can always make this, but... Oh, so... I mean, you can always make it when you win the Ace of Clubs, but can you always make it when you play Hard and Trick 2, was the, was the question. If you win the Ace of Clubs? If you win the Ace of Clubs, can the defense counter a Hard and Trick 2? No. 
I think not. Yeah, I mean, cer- certainly not. There, there's nothing they can do if you just plan on playing a heart to the king. Oh, right, because the Ace of Hearts. Yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the question is really if the Ace of Hearts is offside, what are Declare's prospects? And I think you're probably right. There's just not much Declare can do if you've decided that the can Clubs is off. So, well... All right, so they, they finished with a nice result. Here. Yeah, yeah. So two umps was the final tally. I guess, do we have... Let's see. So do we have current standings now? Uh, um, we have managed to push the team that we just played down into sixth. <laughs> so, uh, and we butlered plus 4.6, which I'm very happy with, which is easy to figure out because it's the only set that you Where have. is the butler? Oh, butler. Um, bridgeresults.org and then uh, yeah, go into the results and then Butler. Plus four point... Oh my god, this is going to be so complicated. Where am I? Uh, 46th place. Okay. We were plus 4.6 imps, so that's just like cross imps across the field. Uh, right, and then, you know, not, you know, just reduce to, uh, you know, I guess it's, I'm, yeah, like it's not, you know, some colossal number. So I think it's uh, 4.6 is approximately a third, you know, one third of an import mm-hmm. board. Yep. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah, right. we, we had a really Point bad set. That was the problem. Yeah. The... Yeah, I mean, I'm just happy, you know, to have a bad set and still be, you know, and have our, what felt like terrible set, uh, you know, be better than, uh, you know, the average of a fairly strong field. It's just always nice to get a little positive reinforcement that way, even though I know butlers are kind of meaningless. Yeah. 